are you? Uh, I'm protesting the protest. <laughs> okay. So I'm like a very like alarmingly far right young man. Uh, the truth is, is that I have no idea. It sometimes it seems like the only thing that gets media, well, the only thing that does get media attention is violence. Educated. What does it mean? Uh, it means you're not educated on a woman's body, so you probably haven't pleased one. Real? That's true. White men! What is going on? I personally am not religious, so there is no God that grants me my rights. Put one up on the board for us, boys. 1-0. Hey, incels. Kill yourself. Oh, I'm so sorry if incels don't like me! Oh my god! Go to hell! <sighs> what a beautiful day to defend women's rights. Nobody cares more about women's rights than me. Nobody here, nobody inside the White House cares more about women and women's rights and rights of non-women, but also women's rights than me. This is a very special place in my heart. I was here three years ago at Women's March 2019. You might even remember the footage. I think my friend Jesus is over there, our favorite schizophrenic homeless guy who claims to be Jesus Christ, a little bit of a heretic. Maybe we'll have some words later, but gotta say the turnout, they're not sending their best folks. I mean, even in 2019, three years ago, the turnout was far more substantial than this. And you're talking about, they just took it away. They took your right to an abortion away. And they like thought it was funny. And you're what, having a dance party out here? You're like playing rap music and twerking. This is what happens. You get women in politics and it just, you know, sort of devolves into this types of behavior. So we're excited. We're going to talk to people. It's going to be a great time. And again, nobody loves women's rights more than me. Real. My name is John Doyle. Uh, I'm protesting the protest. <laughs> okay. So I'm like a very like alarmingly far right young man. Uh, I don't believe in voting. I don't believe in women's rights. Uh, so we're out here basically mogging on them because it's hilarious that they can't kill their kids on demand anymore. It's like very personally funny to me. What? Um, I mean, what can you say in a nutshell? You know, what, why, why are you here? Well, I didn't really have much else better to do, and this is pretty important, so I thought that uh, I should come down and, you know, demoralize people who basically sacrificed the unborn to Moloch. What's, what's the message? If you could give people one message to walk away with. Every knee will bow and every tongue shall confess, and you will repent for your sins before Jesus Christ. And keep that in mind, because the things that are of this earth, namely degeneracy and hedonism, are ultimately not positive, and you're corroding your own soul, so accept Christ. What's your name? John Doyle. You can find me on YouTube. Thanks, John. Thanks, man. Look, Tremendous. Look, they say I was made for it. <laughs> Boo, thumbs down. You guys are gay. Boo, thumbs down. You guys can't even get abortions anymore. Women's rights, am I right? Women's rights. I think I recognize you. I think I recognize you, actually. This is very funny. I posted you on my story, actually, really? as an example of a pro-life woman. Yeah. And then immediately after, there was a photo of you being pro-vasectomy, oh, and I had to delete it. I was like, ah. The joke and the people that it was for totally knew what it was about. It was so taken out of context. Yeah, you're nice to white women one time, and then they just betray you every time. Are you guys no. getting interviews? Yeah, we're just yeah. doing interviews. Can I get an interview? Yeah, of course. Like, can I be interviewed? I feel like I'd be the best <laughs> interview you'd get all day. Sure, yeah. Sure. Let's do it. So, why are you here today? I'm here to protest. What are women's rights? Exactly. They literally don't exist. We have God-given rights. God, ladies, I would love to talk to you about this. I saw that side eye. Let's not be passive aggressive. We're 50 years beyond that. Um, Women's rights don't exist because God made man and woman, we're all his children. How can you have specific rights as a woman or specific rights as a man? We all just have God-given rights in this country. So the idea that women get specific rights, or for that matter, any group gets specific, uh, specific rights, is just not we true. We don't have equal rights, you moron. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> all right, gamers, I think that's CAC. I think that's certified CAC. I don't know if you can hear this in the distance. There is an ambient uh, Come and Get Your Love by, I believe, Redbone playing. And this is sort of like the nature of political protests, which is why, of course, it's allowed. Protesting doesn't actually do anything, quite frankly. You see this on the left where they come out. It's a nice photo op. They take pictures. They're like fighting for equality and stuff. Frankly, it's the same thing on the right, except instead of playing music like this, they'll play God Bless America. Why instead of dressing yeah. up in pussy hats, they'll dress up in tricorn hats. It's all LARPing. It's all a photo op because no one actually wants to do what's necessary to achieve tangible change in this country because it's not a fun option. No one does photo ops when 
when they're door knocking or phone banking or things like that or donating to authentically right-wing congressional candidates. So anyways, we're just going to bully these people. Okay, now we have ambient Bob Dylan. The times they are a change in classic. Imagine the opening like montage from Watchmen, but instead of like all the social change throughout the, like the latter half of the 20th century, it's now. We've got at the Supreme Court on Antifa and Black Lives Matter demonstrators. That would be very good content, very keno. We're excited about it. The times they are a changing. Women don't have rights anymore. That's hilarious. So we're looking forward to it. What do you think? Do you, do you think that there's going to be a revolution? It's already on the way. You're going to... Volvo la revolution. I don't, I'm not very educated. I don't know what that sign means. I tell you're not very educated. What does it mean? Uh, it means you're not educated on a woman's body, so you probably haven't pleased one. Real? That's true. Yeah. I'm a Christian. I don't believe in all that type of degenerate stuff. Ooh, yeah. So, got it. Uh, an unhappy wife for the rest of your life. You say you believe in revolution, yet you won't murder me right now. Thoughts? Probably not, yeah. You wouldn't be worth my time. So folks, as you can see, that libtard got totally BTFO'd because they claim to believe in revolution, yet won't kill me right now, folks. This is obviously incoherent. Did she make some comment about not harassing women? Is that yeah, what she yeah. said? Oh, okay, interesting point. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's funny timing. I was, gonna, I was gonna ask them for an interview too. <laughs> Hello, greetings. You strike me as less rambunctious yeah. than that crowd. Would you mind if I asked you some questions? I'm all set. Thank you. Any of you? Okay. Mind if I just ask you? Well, first of all, what's your name? My name's Hannah. My name is John. Nice to meet you. So, what is going on out here, and why are you out here today? I'm out here because I understand that there's a religious component for a lot of people with their opinions on abortions, and I completely respect that. However, our country is founded on a very specific set of ideals, and that includes the separation of church and state. So I believe that if you're a Christian or you are of some other religious you know, affiliation, you're completely within your rights to choose not to have an abortion. That's completely fine. There's a doctrine that you subscribe to, things that you believe in. However, for people like me who are atheists or who do not have strong religious beliefs, I think that it's really important that we're able to make choices in this, like incoherence with our own personal beliefs that aren't governed by other people's religious beliefs. So I understand that there's a huge concern of like, oh, abortions will kill children. However, I believe that there's also this misunderstanding that the lack of abortion will, like banning abortion makes no difference because what will happen is you will see women getting unsafe abortions and they will die. And then that's another, that's, if you consider an abortion a life, that's two lives lost. And if you don't, then it's one life lost. And that's a woman who has lived a very, like a life. And I think that it's just hard to force doctrine on other people in a, a country that I think is so beautiful when separation of church and state is at the foundation of our democracy. So that's my opinion, but. What do you think about the founding fathers? Like, I think John Adams in particular wrote that our constitution was only made for a moral and religious people. And he wrote that it would be wholly inadequate to any other group of people. And I'm sure you remember in school, the first thing we learn is that our country is unique insofar as we have this idea of God-given rights. Not that the state gives you rights, but that they come from God. And since our founding fathers were all Christian, which God would be granting you, for example, the right to an abortion if that is the case? Well, as I said, I personally am not religious, so there is no God that grants me my rights. Okay. Are you going to use that? Uh, I think. Can I say just one thing? Sure. Healthcare. No one's talking about healthcare. Like, reproductive Make it count, make it count, make it count, make it count. There's so much pressure! Do you see how, like, you sort of confirm all of our... No! No, it's so over! It's so over! What about? I need to hear more about... If you actually wanted to talk, I would be dipping into the ground because I'm a political literal. Oh no! Yeah, I am. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You I'm an agent. Right. It doesn't matter. You but I'm a fucking brain. brain, and you a fucking. Is this on? You're shaking because you know how to talk to fucking women. No, no, you're not fucking. your choice. All right. Y'all people are so sexually demented. Like, why is that the first thing you go to? Like, is that just always on your mind? Yeah. Porn. Have you I don't want to waste my breath. Life to where your entire mentality is 100 percent of the time focused on. Pornography. Sorry, your porn sucks. You should probably yeah, try to come. I can recommend a really great, really great feminist porn site for free. They Ethically pay their porn, porn stars. You big man. Homie, you're all dick energy. Yeah. Small dick energy. Hey, little boy. Hey, little boy. 
Look at his sign. White men, what is going on? Look at what we've devolved to. Look at what we used to build. Now you've got this guy stand with black small women. Dick energy, small dick energy. It's over. It's over. Well, what are you doing out here today? Like, what does this all mean to you? Well, I feel like number one. Making fun I'm of here because it's entertaining. No. I have an opinion about it, but I don't think any of this, sorry, any of this interaction is doing anything for either side. Um, it's just people screaming at each other and having emotions about things and saying things that each side thinks is true. How do you know that we're incels? What does that word mean? It means that you literally hate women, like you just said. She goes, she goes, I said, hey, incel, and he goes, me? Uh-oh. <laughs> Incel. Yeah, right. So I got that. Oh wait, are you are you not an incel? Kicked out of whatever incel. little organization. Can you can you like teach us how to get women? Can we go to a bar later and then like girls will come up to you and be like, hey, I think your friends are cool. You're a fucking idiot. Or Fuck, dude. Why would we see you as our equal? You're behaving like a child. Okay. You're, like literally screaming at me. Yeah. Yeah, because you literally don't know how to hear any. I'm trying to talk logically to you. Please do. I would love to hear it. Tell me what abortion is. Abortion is the termination of a pregnancy, which okay. is a killing of a child. Okay, no, so not. do you think it's abortion when you make fertilized eggs? To okay, put into I, I got it. I got it. Like IVF? Yes. Abortion yes. Why in That's the definition? Insane. No, it's not. Why doesn't it say, <laughs> why doesn't it say killing crazy. of a baby? It says removing of a fetus. <laughs> A euphemism. He thinks IVF is no, it's not. It literally says Which it is, yeah. Oh, I mean, oh, okay. so, making babies is, not, is killing babies. I when you do an IVF, a lot of different fertilized eggs die in the process. So yeah, that would be the same. Fertilized eggs die all the fucking time. Yeah, but you're doing it intentionally, so it's different. <laughs> Every time okay, you come, okay. even though you're not supposed to because it goes against your like, philosophy and like porn or whatever, you think that's killing something. No, because waste. sperm is not the same as a fertilized egg. Because it's more powerful. That's not what I said. <laughs> okay. See, this is sort of the problem is like we're trying to have a conversation and you can't help but get into these very passive aggressive little quips and everything. What you think you have a right? If I get pregnant, she does have a right to if live. I, I, to I get pregnant. Abortion is in healthcare. Yes, hey, you have healthcare. a conversation. Put it down your fake mic that doesn't work as we've talked about. <laughs> what do you mean it doesn't work? Your fake mic. It doesn't work. <laughs> Are we receiving audio? Yeah, get roasted, libtard. The mic works. All right. Well, I am on. Put one up on the board for us, boys. One zero. -oh. Hey, incels, kill yourself. Oh, I'm so sorry if incels don't like me. Oh my god, go to hell. You this is different. will die. And if you don't have an abortion, you will die. You will die. So, so if we're trying killing. to save lives, and yeah, we're we need to think about we don't want to fucking die. Lives. And you have you no You could simply rights. not have sex before marriage. You're crazy. <laughs> Why? Sex after I marriage and have love. a fucking yes. atomic pregnancy. I you know, love abortion is not even a premarital requisite. Even according to like the most spiritual moment of my life was having an orgasm. Okay? Even like according to the data that's collected by pro-choice institutes, upwards of 95% of abortions are for reasons of convenience. Things like wanting to make more money, wanting to pursue education. Have you raised a child? What about rape? I haven't. What about incest? What about that's less than one percent of all cases? That's not true. That's absolutely true. Does it add up? That doesn't really like add up with the fact that like one in four women are raped. I don't think that's true. That is. I've heard that statistic. I don't believe that for a second. Put your hand up if you've been raped by a Oh no, I'm not. They have no, a knife. Wait, wait, put your hands up okay. if you've been raped. There's four of us here. There's count. four of us here, right? Put your hand up if you've been raped I by a man. YouTube channel, the KGB show. Three out of so, four. So yeah, it is. That's why we're so emotional. Because I'm so emotional, I don't want to die. I'm so sorry. Sorry. How would you die? You could simply be abstinent. Yeah. Like you're like. What the fuck are you doing with your dick? What are you doing so, with your dick? So, are you abstinent? So, yes. Yes, I'm a Catholic. That actually makes sense. Oh, that actually makes I'm sense. Yeah, that's, that's, that's fair. Hey, I street. want to have a conversation with you. I know I had a normal conversation. When we're on a street and your little boyfriend is wearing the future's patriarchy. Listen to your, you like, have a very vicious Good. tone, though. You you can't you can't finish a sentence without making, like, some little quip. Tone. Hey, I just want to make you know, just because someone's yelling doesn't make their, like, arguments invalid and childlike and crazy. It's because we're passionate because I don't want to fucking die. You have no reason to be out here but to yell at women that you can't sleep with. I've never raised my voice with you and no one here wants to sleep with you again it doesn't fucking matter i don't care if i'm raising my voice i'm more successful in 
probably the industry that you want to be a part of. That's not true. Okay, so what's your job? Uh, I talk about politics for a living. I'm in politics. Really fucking Let me guess. You are going into a poli-sci program. No, I'm not. I worked for Biden, the current, current fucking president. On what, his campaign? Yeah, you fucking idiot. So you phone banked or something? No, I wasn't on a phone bank. I literally worked in intelligence. And I know how to talk to normal, logical, non-incels. When I see an incel talk, he goes, that's interesting. When I see an incel, I'm not going to have like a sit-down conversation because I'm not at work. Because you're in the street, you're harassing us, and I don't want to die. You actually came up to us, I think. You literally have reduced the entire argument to, if I can't kill a baby, I'm going to die. Like, I am fully believing that you work for the Biden campaign. First of all, we're disagreeing about a lot of things. You refuse to do any research, R&D find out anything you're talking about. What does R&D mean? I don't know what that means. You're using like very, very intelligent, uh, very intelligent terms here. You're going to have to break them down for me. You know, you are men, like normal men, like these normal men that, yeah, that don't look like this. You are like probably one of the most insufferable people I've ever seen in my life. You speak like a kindergarten teacher and you're ugly and you're scornful and you're a bitch and you should like walk away. Okay, first of all, argument is that I'm like too passionate and too too energetic. No, you're just like a hysterical young woman who has no idea what she's talking about. I literally not answered one question I've asked. You. Because it's impossible to speak to you. I have no business with you. See, what do you mean it doesn't okay. work? Like, I don't know. Enjoy the rest of your day. I, I, I think we're done here. Nobody cares what you think. Nobody cares what you think. Yeah. Look at, look at you. Look at you. Nobody thinks you're hot. You're like a total mid. I'm gonna fucking. Dude, Dude, Brandon's like got my back. Okay, have fun. I bet you take SSRIs. Real. You do. Physiognomy's so fucking real. What are you out here doing? I like your buttons. I'm out here saying you. Why? Because you're you're. You're like Lauren. Who's Lauren? You don't know her? No. Look her up. What does your hat mean? It means that I support women and you don't. Okay, let me get 30 seconds of your time and I'll leave you alone. No, I'm good. F*** you. Why? What's your name? My name is F*** you. F*** you. We gotta be friends, man. We could have you. we could have such a productive dialogue. I'm so curious about your buttons. F*** you. F*** you, Intel. This guy thinks that. When, just, when, I, when I said, hey, Intel, he, uh, he uh, perked up. So I just wanted to know what it means. I mean, he said it so passionately. He said, hey, what's going on? I love you too. People are being so vicious to me for no reason. Nice to meet you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See, he's vouching for me. So, what are you guys out here doing today? What does this event mean to you? Uh, this is when the uh, March, March for Life, the Women's March uh, for Pro Choice. And so the whole point of the, the march is to get our our the, our our dialogue out saying that, you know, we're pro-choice. We're not saying it's, you know, we're not with abortion. We're not saying we're against abortion. What we're saying is women have rights to do with our body. We shouldn't have another government take know, it away from or religion, us. Yeah, take that away from us. It's our body. It's our right. It's our choice. What was your guys' reaction to the overturning effectively of Roe v. Wade last summer? I was really upset. I was very disappointed. I was very disappointed in our government. I felt like because yeah. I work personally for the government. And I'm with the government, and I was very sad to say how they try to eat their way back into, to, to, they see, yeah, and make us like puppets, doing what they would ask us to do, especially when it comes to our own bodies. Like, enough is enough. You, you know, you can d deal with the political side of it, you know, taxation, see that nature, but when it comes to personally our, our personal bodies, and you dictating what we can and cannot do with our own personal bodies, well, I mean, I think that's just extreme, just a little bit, in my personal opinion. So you mentioned a right to an abortion. Where do you think that that comes from? I think pro-life takes to the fact that since pro-choice, if it's there, at least the dialogue I had with some of the pro-lifers was that if we weren't pro-life, we were against life. And I was trying to educate them. Pro-choice is not about being against or not against. It's just having a choice. Last thing I'll ask, the country's obviously very divided right now. What is something you think could bring people together if that's possible? Love. I, yeah. Peace and love. Love and understanding. Love for just as, as human. As humans love. Yeah. I told you, the pro-life one time, I don't have to agree with you, but I do respect the fact that you have an opinion and you have a right to your opinion. And that's why I stand on pro-choice, because you have a right. I may not have to agree with you, and I don't, but we should, as human, be able to have a dialogue mm -hmm. 
at least and be like, I respect you still. Totally fair. Yep. Right. This was a respectful dialogue, it was. wasn't and it? I don't, I, I don't mind though. Like we could totally disagree at the end of the day. Yeah. But I still respect you as my brother and person of the world. I appreciate that. All right. Thank you for speaking with me. It's very Pleasure. nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. Enjoy your day. Thank you. We spoke earlier. I think that we got off on the wrong foot. You can vouch, we had a, a little bit of a rough start. We still, we still agree to disagree, but we respected each other. I don't think so, I think we're not. Let's, we'll go 30 seconds, and if you want me to leave, I'll leave. No dick energy. No dick energy. We, we can talk, can't we? Okay, elaborate. No dick energy. No dick energy. Trump lost, ha ha. Oh my God, I took the camera. You're, you're a weirdo, bro. You definitely got one. Facts, yo. That's my. You're an incel. You're an incel. That guy's definitely not. Chad. Crazy day. Why does she keep coming near me? This is very. Stay six feet apart. Six feet away. Stop the spread. Anyways, can I? I'm gonna leave you with this. I'm gonna leave you with this. Can I say one more thing? Please. Thank you. Why do you keep trying to hold my hand? I'm telling them the microphone. Oh my god, do you have attention? Okay, hey incels. I think it's important to remember that just because someone is yelling and passionate because they don't want to die, doesn't mean they're not educated. Peace and love, pussy power. Let them vote, it's fine, let them vote. Yeah. You don't think women should vote? Big mistake. Well, I don't think, to be fair, I don't think people should vote. Uh, I don't think that voting should be a right. I think democracy is fundamentally flawed. Uh, I think it should be a privilege. I, which I would love to explain. Do you also, the guy back there who thinks that all other religions other than Christianity aren't real, do you believe that too? Well, you kind of have to if you're a Christian, right? The same way a Muslim would say that about any other religion. Yeah, as a Christian. Sure they do say that. Oh, they completely would. I don't know if they do say that other religions aren't real. Well, they're real in the sense that they exist, but are they true? No. Okay. Um, well, I don't really think I have right, anything to say about it. All right, bye, Have fun in life. Can't have yeah, this go to fucking hell, you little ass. Let him vote. Let him vote. That's what we were told. Why were you here today? What does this all mean to you? I mean, so, I'll, I'll be honest, I'm, I'm here for uh, pro-choice, but I just think it's kind of sad, because I know that you guys believe in the opposite of what I believe in, just as strong as I believe in it, so I think it's kind of pointless, it's kind of sad, I just come take photos, really, good photo opportunity. Yeah, I've noticed a lot of American politics has basically devolved into a series of photo ops, you know, like, when the left protests, when the left likes to protest, they do things like this, and it turns into kind of like a block party, but the right does the same thing, but instead of, like, rap music, they'll play, like, God Save America. Is this the nature of protest? Protesting, can protesting be effective? How do you think people can actually enact change at more of a street level without being violent? The truth is, is that I have no idea. It sometimes it seems like the only thing that gets media, well, the only thing that does get media attention is violence. It's really like a sad system we've built, I think. Well, we're back here at the White House. This went about as well as we expected, I think. American political discourse, not to say it was ever anything exceptionally productive, but it's like inarguably devolved into this sort of photo op. I mean, like for example, right now, in front of the White House at any given time, you're going to have like different interest groups airing out their grievance with the system, how they want money funneled in certain directions. We've got a nice little battalion of Ukrainians here begging that more money be spent on their ethnic conflict with Russia, despite the fact that we have literally like dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of homeless people making encampments throughout Washington DC our nation's beautiful capital so the American people are humiliated meanwhile we have Ukrainians wanting money going here feminists wanting money going so they can uh, continue to kill their children and this is the problem with democracy if you have democracy at a large scale in a diverse country where people are no longer united by the common things for which that country was established it's just a bunch of different interest groups competing for power and competing for money taking it out of our pockets, putting it where they want it, and vice versa. So this is not sustainable. Something bad is probably going to happen, but at least today we got to have fun. So isn't that what it's all about? Mogging on feminists, etc., taking their rights away. I don't know. I'm pretty black pilled. Just kidding. I'm white pilled. We're back. We're all going to make it. The bad guys are going to lose. You heard it here first.